Welcome back another day some more energy for my viewers at home But today's topic is one of one I have never seen a YouTube video discuss this a lot of youtubers a lot of gurus a lot of motivational speakers Say how self-improvement is the way to go you must become the greatest version of yourself and there's no downsides There's no cons. There's nothing unexpected you become the greatest version of yourself and everything is lovely life gets a little easier You get some more females get some more money in your bank account That's the life you expect you expect to put the hard work in to receive some rewards you expect life to get drastically better and yes it does but there comes a point where self-development self-improvement can be very scary and this is where a lot of men a lot of people settle and this is why we have settlements society has settlements because people want to settle they want to live in that comfortable predictable certain environment that has no unknown factor to it that has no uncertainty they know their environment they know how to operate a lot of people enjoy that lifestyle and there's absolutely no knocking that type of person because innately inside of us we all enjoy the known factor but for the people who want to continue to self-develop continue to grow this is like the modern day warriors you need people at camp who are nurturing the camp who are building the camp cooking meals at home doing all these things that's how society has always been you have the warriors who go out to the unpredictable to the unknown who bring back home rewards goodies gold and they have to face the bears they have to face the giants they have to face the unpredictable environment landscapes they have to navigate new terrain it's uncomfortable it's stressful their mind is playing tricks and that's what happens when you self develop after a while because you can only do so many things you can say God I need your help to become the greatest version of myself you start going to the gym improve your communication skills boost your hygiene getting rid of acne coming up with a skincare routine but there comes a point there's a barrier that will be in front of you you can progress as much as you want but there's gonna be a point where you will have to leap off the bridge you will have to jump into the unknown to places you have never been before to environments you have never experienced before it will all be unknown territory because that's not who you are you weren't raised in those unknown conditions and self-development self-improvement you continually keep building yourself up doing better doing better doing better and it comes to a point where there's a barrier where everything is unknown because your mind is so programmed on doing more and more and more that your mind will feed you we got to do more we got to do better we got to do greater and when you push the envelope when you push the boundaries it's uncomfortable there's a lot of fear because it's unknown and it's uncertain you haven't been there before and I'm talking about this you're in the gym you're doing some mediocre routine you're staying in your comfortable little zone you're not breaking a sweat you make sure all of your workouts aren't too strenuous and you can get by without really having to suffer or to put in any intense labor but if you want to level up if you want to grow if you want to become stronger if you want to become a greater version of yourself you have to lean into that uncomfortability you have to do more reps you have to do more sets you may have to suffer it may hurt you may have bigger recovery times you have to push the limitations and that's what happens with self-development eventually you will cross that line where you can stay stagnant at the same level going to the gym each and every single day in your routine doing basic home videos each and every day sticking to your routine and you can make that comfortable for yourself but if you want to keep self-development if you want to keep growing if you don't want to have your spirit give up on you because for a lot of people God will give you the option when you're self-developing when you're becoming the greatest version of yourself he will implant ideas in your head that you got to do more you got to go to the next level you got to keep expanding you got to keep growing because that's where the thrill is that's where the hunt is that's where life truly opens up but it's also very scary it's fearful you have a lot of resistance you're in the unknown it is scary and you have two options you can take a leap into the unknown and that means just doing more going outside of your comfort zone whether it's speaking on stage or doing more intense workouts to do more than you previously done when you start this self-development movement you have to keep growing and that's the scary part because eventually you're doing things that you have never done before and you are in a constant state of that uncomfortability you are in a constant state of living in the unknown the uncertain and there's two options stay at the same level that you're comfortable with and stay stagnant and I guarantee you depression will kick in you'll start beating yourself up over time and you're thinking well why why do I have depression? I'm bettering myself. I'm doing all these things. And it's because you failed to go to that next level. And that's what happens when you open up Pandora's box of self-development. Because once your mind gets that kick of we should do more, it will continually make you do more and 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 more. It's just God wanting to use your vessel and bring out the most of you. And he will take your hand off the moment that you settle and you don't want to keep persevering or pushing forward. Because when you begin to better yourself, improve qualities, morals, mindsets, and your physical frame, 
game, you will soon meet that crossroad. You either stay at the same level because it's comfortable, it's known, or face the fear, uncertainty, and the unknown to progress, to unfold the next chapter, to continue to have God have his hand on you because God favors the bold. The moment you stop traversing new environments or leveling up or upgrading yourself, God will take his hand off you because God favors the bold. And I'm not saying if you're not constantly leveling up or bettering yourself, God's not going to have his hand on you or want to favor you or want to help you. That's not it at all because we're all at different stages and God can take us out of so many different stages. But I just mean once you continually level up, God has more standards. He has more responsibilities for you. He expects more from you because he developed you up to that stage. He has built you up to that point. And for you to back off, it's like, God, I know you're helping me and I understand I could keep going, but I'm just going to settle. And that's not God's fault. That's your fault. You don't want to face that uncomfortability, that fear, that unknown. So you're going to settle and you may just slip into depression. You may have these thoughts of more, but the more you sit in that stage, and I'm just talking about doing the same basic routine each and every single day, not going outside of your comfort zone or leveling up or doing more than you did the previous day, because after a while, God will expect more from you and he will keep nudging you in that direction and you may not want to go. You may try to refrain from going in that direction and a lot of people do that. That's why we have settlements. We have people who settle because to continually strive to be great, to push for success, it's uncomfortable and a lot of people can't handle that. There's a lot of new added pressure. The further you go, it's like a shark swimming through thicker and thicker currents. The further you go, the more the pressure builds up. The further you go, the thicker the fear may appear and I feel like it's just God testing you. How bad do you want it? How far do you want to go? And the moment you back away, God's like, okay, well, I tested him as far as he could go and that's where he settled. But there will come a point and there will come a day where everything is new, uncertain, and unexpected. This is a good analogy. You have a whole bunch of people at shore. They're there because it's safe. There's no unknown factor of what's in the water, what's going to grab my leg, what's going to bite me. And it's like, yeah, you're in the shallow waters. Everything's nice. People have done it before. If something grabs you, you have people behind you who could help you out. But the deeper you go, the more likely there's some dangerous fish or something that's unknown or lurking at the bottom. And then you have these ropes that are blocking you off from the sharks. And it's up to you. Do I want to keep going? And if you want to keep going, God's like, okay, let's just keep going. And now you cross the rope. There's no lifeguard. There's no protection. It's only you. It's unexplored territory because you are now the pioneer. You are now the person with the vision who was going into the unknown. And the further you push, the more of the people behind you are like, okay, I didn't know that was possible. Congratulations. He's done it. So why can't I do it? And they move forward with you. But if you want to be at the forefront, if you want to keep self-developing, becoming a greater version of yourself, the deeper you go, the more unknown, the more uncertain. And you just keep going. And now there's a huge drop off. You see shadows. You see things in the water. Your mind is playing tricks. You're not really sure what is out there. It's just a huge black drop off. And you can just continue to swim in that place. You could stay there for the rest of your life. But eventually you're like, Ugh, I feel bored. I want to do more. I want to level up. I need some excitement. I need some thrill. And you can keep going. The current may get stronger. You may come across some bigger blows, some bigger currents. You might get eaten by a shark. Some things may happen because the more you progress, the stronger the current, the stronger the pressure, the more resistance you will have to tackle with. The further you go, the harder the punches will be. The higher the highs, the lower the lows. The further you push something, God knows you are a strong individual if you want to keep going. So when you get punched, you will really get punched. When you win, you will really win. Everything cranks up a notch the further down you go. And you can pray to God for power, for strength, for all of these things if you feel like you're overcome. Asking the originator of the universe to make me better, make me stronger, give me more power. This is done five times a day. Or you can't move to the next level, but that's the scary part of self-development. A lot of people online talk about going to the gym every day, getting a good diet, getting some good hygiene. But when you do this, eventually it comes to the point where you're in a momentous cycle of doing more, doing things that are uncomfortable, pushing your limits in the gym, doing more and doing more. And once you open Pandora's box, once you open that door, it's going to come to a point where everything will be uncomfortable because it's brand new. You will get nudges from God to go in these uncomfortable places so you can continue to keep growing because that's what self-development is. That's where life starts. That's where the enthusiasm, the passion, the excitement, the thrill is. 
is unlocking new chapters of yourself, seeing how far you could push yourself, continually getting better and getting better. And when you continually get better and get better, there's a moment where you enter uncharted waters. Because when it comes to self-development, you have to continually keep growing and moving forward. This stage that I'm at right now of working out each and every single day, going past my limits, making these videos, yes, right now, this is my maximum potential, I guess you could say. But in a couple days time, God will give me nudges to do more, to unlock that enthusiasm, to push myself to the next stage. And it's up to you to answer that call. And if you do decide to answer that call, God will keep his hand on you. But the moment you're like, nope, I'm just going to stay here. And you may do it subconsciously. Then God will take his hand off your life. And I'm not saying you can't have a connection with God at that point. But when it comes to evolving, growing, bettering yourself, God knows that you're not ready for that next level. Because he offered it to you and it was too fearful. It was too scary. And he's not going to force you into anything that you can't handle. But if you notice, like God, I can't handle this next stage. I can't handle this next level. Just pray, meditate on his word, ask for strength, ask for power, ask for whatever you need because you continue to keep bettering yourself in a place where nobody's bettering yourself and then one day you're the leader. And then now what? You have this added pressure. You have all these things that are accumulating and you're like, whoa, I didn't expect this. And you're thrown into some weird thing and then you got to keep growing and growing and growing to better yourself. And the more you keep growing and growing and growing, the more expectations are added to you. The more things you got to keep doing to evolve and that's the beautiful thing. But yes, this is one of my struggles because I know God is using my vessel. I have prayed multiple times for that to happen. And God is just continually like, hey, I want you to go in this direction. And it's just expanding me. It's uncomfortable. He's putting me in positions I have never been put in before. There's a lot of fear that's inside of my mind. And I have to overcome this resistance. And it's like, I don't know this territory. I don't know this environment. And I'm constantly just being molded and pushed in new directions. And yes, it is uncomfortable. Be careful. Be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you ask for. Because a lot of people, they just can't handle that. They get to a certain stage of success and it's too much and they crumble and they crack. It's literally not for everyone because there's a lot that comes with it. It's like me saying, could I be in Andrew Tate's position right now? With my current mindset, definitely not. The responsibility, the pressure, the things he is up against. My frame would probably crumble and crack and I wouldn't be able to handle it. There's responsibility. There's pressures. There's things that come with success or bettering yourself or achieving more in life. It's not just handed to you and that's why it's not easy. That's why not everybody has it because you continually have to keep growing, transforming, becoming something new, putting yourself in uncomfortable positions, places, experiences that you don't necessarily want to be in because it feels unnatural and that's what it takes. But yeah, this video is not about me inspiring fear into people or making it so they don't want to better themselves or live a happier existence because no, you definitely want to do that. You want to self-progress, you want to self-actualize, you want to better yourself, work on your communication, work on your physicality, work on all aspects of yourself, and eventually you will know what I mean. And if you want to continue to keep going, then that's up to you. But the limit of how far you want to take it is always up to you. You can self-develop, you can do all these things. And if you decide, listen, I'm not meant to be number one. I'm not meant to be in this position. And a lot of people, they just think, I want to be number one. I want to be the greatest. I want to be the best. I want to be at the forefront. And there's a lot of responsibility. And some people just have to be honest. Are you capable? Are you willing? Is your mind prepared for that? Can you handle those pressures? Can you handle that place? And a lot of people are like, yeah, obviously, when they never even went outside of their own comfort zone. But the more you move, the more pressure, the more current, the more uncharted territories, the more you will be up against. And the more you want to push is the deciding factor because nothing is going to be given to you for free. Nothing in this universe is bestowed upon an individual without them earning it in some extent. Like you just don't get these external results or success or things if you're not putting in the work. God's not going to make some lazy person person who's not doing anything in their life to benefit themselves or work on themselves or progress their life forward. He's not going to bestow them with money or success or any sort of achievement because there's people who are genuinely working day in and day out. And the universe is balanced. You put in the work, the more you will achieve, the more you will attain. That's just the common sense of this universe. The more you put in, the more you get out. The more you work in the gym, the more jacked you will be. The guy who's not doing shit in the gym each and every single day, he's not going to get jacked. And you will see that the more you put into anything in life, the more you're going to get out. And that's how this life works. The more you put in, the more you get out. The more energy you give to this system, to this life, to this universe, the more you breathe in day in and day out, the more you reap back. What you sow is what you reap. There's literally a scripture in the Bible. But yes, one thing that has to be understood in this world, then people just have to get. Like a lot of people want to be the greatest. They want to be the best. They want to be thrown in, into that position. But you'll never get there without earning it. Everything is earned in this life. And God will not put anything on your 
plate that you cannot handle. He doesn't want to see you crumble. He wants to mold you, progress you, build you up. And then when you're ready, deserving, and can handle being in that position, he will put you in that position. Because if you take some average Joe and put him in a number one spot, he's in the forefront of all the BS opinions, the arrows, the critiques, the judgment, the resistance. If he's in the front of all these things, a guy who can't handle a single pressure, a guy who is in battle with his own mind. Like, some people can't even overcome their own mind, but they want to be in these number one positions. Like, there's a lot of self-work and self-development to be in these positions. Throw me in Logan Paul's position, or throw me in Andrew Tate's position with my current mindset, and I'll be honest, I will crack and I will crumble because those guys are molded and developed by God. They have the mighty hand of God working with them so they can handle that responsibility. That's why they're in that role, and that's why they're up what they're up against. Andrew Tate is up against the Matrix, and he can handle it because he is a strong, bold individual who can get thrown in jail and it doesn't affect him and he can come out peacefully, fine, everything is good. He's not going crazy. He's not going insane. God will not give you more than you can handle. But yes, I'm not trying to discourage anybody from being their best selves or working on themselves. I'm just saying if you get caught in a loop where you feel like I've been improving myself, I'm doing the same thing day in and day out and I'm not feeling that satisfaction of improvement or leveling up and you feel this burden that you need to do more or you need to go to the next level, that's God giving you a nudge saying, hey, if you want to continue to grow, if you want to continue to be satisfied, if you want to continue to be fulfilled, you got to level up. You got to go to the next place. There may be fear. There may be that unknown factor. There may be uncertainty. But once you cross over, you will feel good about yourself and it will be a breath of fresh air and it will feel natural. Overcoming the barrier into the brand new, into the unknown, that can be one of the biggest struggles. And that's why a lot of people, they'll take a step back or they'll take a step forward. And we all have this choice and it really is up to you. And I just want to put this straight that there's nothing wrong with settling or living in a comfortable state. If you feel more fulfilled, if you have enjoyment in living in those places, a lot of people will just crap on those people. If you enjoy that and you don't like the unknown, you don't like the uncertainty, you don't want to continue to keep pushing. If you feel fulfilled and you feel good where you're at, then that's made for you and there's nothing wrong with that. And you can push it as far as you want to go, but the moment you tap out and say, hey, I don't want to go any further. This is all I want to do. I don't need to keep going. That is completely fine. Throughout life, you have always had this. You had settlements where people were comfortable. They were living in a certain condition. Everything was known. They knew how to navigate. And then you have the soldiers that march out of the camp and they go into the unknown. And that's just how life is. We have settlements and we have people that march out of the camps and face the unknown. And they bring back the stories. They bring back more energy. They bring back these things for the people and it boosts their morale. You need both of it because when you are marching out of the camp and you don't have a place to come back to that's not nurturing or it's not like a home or it doesn't feel like it has been taken care of. Like if you came back and nobody's at the camp and everybody's out exploring, it's not worth going out. It's not worth climbing. It's not worth building stories. For the soldier, it's not worth going out, killing a mammoth, getting the meat and bringing it all the way back for the people at the settlement. It's just not worth it. So you need both. And a lot of people have to understand their roles. Like kids growing up, they may be a person who wants to march out of the camp. They want to do more. They want to expand. They want to grow. They want to face the uncomfortability. But the parent or just anybody or friends, they will cast that judgment of no, you can't do it. And it's just, they don't know their place. This person, they just want to be complacent. They want to be comfortable. They want to live a cozy life. They don't want to face that storm. They don't want to go in that direction. But this person, they do. And both of them just have to understand, okay, you crazy boy, you go out and you do your thing and you constantly keep growing and evolving. But this is my role. This is what I want to do. And a lot of people, they just bash on those people who want to stay in one spot or who enjoy the comfortability of doing the same thing day in and day out. But for some people, that just won't work. And that's how society has always been. Now, this is a pretty good way to describe the uncertainty, to describe the fear. Let's just say we have a pretty decent-sized property. We have two dogs and an invisible border, an invisible fence that produces a shock to the collars on the dog's neck. They can only go so far, and when they cross that barrier, when they cross past that invisible fence, or they hit the invisible fence, they will feel a shock. And that's what happens when you continue to keep growing. You will be in an uncomfortable place, and it's up to you if you want to feel and absorb that shock to get to the free land on the other side to experience more to be in that uncharted land or to see the other side where there's more land where there's more opportunity where there's more things do you want to feel that shock put yourself in that uncomfortability and one of the dogs bolts through feels the shock 
gets shocked for a little bit, but he goes to the other side. The other dog feels that same shock, and he never goes outside of that barrier again. And let's say a couple months have passed, and that shock inside of his mind is building, is growing. That fear is building up. It's growing to where he will never even get near that fence again. He won't even try it. And that's what happens when God gives you the next level up. It's better and it's easier when you're in that momentum, when you're there in the moment to level up, to face that uncomfortability, to face that fear, instead of taking a couple days, war gaming it inside of your head. Because if you don't leap on that fear and you take a step back, we'll start to overthink that fear, that parasite will start to build, that uncertainty will build up even more to where you will talk yourself back to doing what you have always done. So when you feel that self-development, when you feel God is nudging you to go to the next level, just jump into it, take that leap of faith if you want to keep growing. That's the best way to describe it. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it was quite an interesting topic, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. God forgive me, I repent for all the times I ain't followed the plan, but you said that I ain't too far gone. You remind me who I am. Less than I'm chosen, I'm prepped.